Hi, I'm Sophie Grigson and this is me at the age of three with my friend's dog. Oh, and this is me sitting on my grandfather's lap. Those are the days. Me again with my dad and my mum, the food writer Jane Grigson. And this is us in France where we went every year and ate wonderful food. Me and my mum eating more wonderful food. And this is me. I wonder what I was thinking about. Certainly not that one day I'd be following in my mum's footsteps. Uh -uh, no, that's not me on the bicycle. I'm up here with my assistant Tom, cooking food my mother made, and my own recipes, of course. Got your pasta for you. Why? We're not having pasta today. Uh, we are having pasta, but we're not having that pasta. We're using this. We are using this. Look, I finally got my pasta roller fixed onto my mixer. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it seems well attached. Pretty solid. But, you know, the really good news is that I'm not making the pasta, you're not making the pasta, Antonio Carluccio is making the pasta. Yes, indeedy. You know, he's an old family friend. He knew my mum. Oh. And, uh, and he's coming around. He's, as far as I can tell, he's bringing everything with him. The pasta dough. And what is even better, he's got a truffle. A real truffle to bring around as well. So it's going to be a meal of... Fantastic luxury, but great simplicity. It's what the Italians are best at, really. <laughs> well, that and a few other bits and bobs we won't go into here. <laughs> but, um, Tom, I just want to show you something. Look, have you seen this down here? It says, you can be killed or seriously injured if you don't immediately follow instructions. Let's follow those instructions, then. Yeah, I'm thinking of having that sort of blown up and put onto the wall. Anybody's working in my kitchen. Warning. Yeah, watch <laughs> it, mate. <laughs> Could you uh, separate those and uh, yeah. yolks into there, whites into there? Well done. Today, today we are making one of my absolutely most beloved desserts from when I was a child. Lemon honeycomb mould. And it was one I just looked forward to so much and I still adore it. It's a great pudding. Obviously, it has lemons in it. It's set with gelatine. But it's kind of got a little bit of magic because... As the jelly sets, it separates into three distinct layers. So, I'm going to show you how you do it. You have a nice young man who separates your eggs for you. That's always a, a very, very helpful start. We've also got some sugar in a the bowl there. And I'm going to add the zest of two large lemons. Now, just before I peel the other one, I'm going to quickly put some gelatine leaves. And these are so much easier to use than the powdered gelatine. Fantastic, squeaky things. And I'm just going to turn the heat up under my milk. I've got some milk coming up to the boil in the pan there. So these quickly go into a bath of cold water just to soften up 